The first new feature is in Word for the web and it lets you make a really cool pull quote. So I have a quote here from Bill Lumberg. I'm gonna need those TPS reports ASAP. If I right click on this text, I can choose create pull quote right here. That turns it into a very nice looking pull quote. I have a couple options I can choose here. Maybe I wanna make it a little orange on top. Oh, I don't like that one as much. I have a couple other options. Let's try this one. That's perfect and choose accept. The second new feature is that drawing has been added to Word for the web. So if I go to the insert menu here, click on drawing. Now I've got a nice space to make something creative. So I can drop down shapes. Maybe I'm gonna make an arrow. We'll draw that, maybe make it orange. Let's add another shape. I can add a text box, give it a title. TPS process innovation, I switch to text, maybe make that some professional comic sans, make it a little bigger and make it red. I can even add a picture. Ooh, there's Michael Scott. I hope Bill Lumberg doesn't get jealous about that one. Now when you're all done with your drawing, you can choose save and close. <gasps> Look at that, that is very professional looking. The third new feature lets you launch editor directly from any sentence in Word. So just to recap editor, I'm gonna launch this on the home tab here. Generally, you can have editor have all this great information on your right hand side. But if I just wanna go one thing at a time and not look at it all at once, there's a new capability that lets me do this. I'm just gonna select a sentence right here and then I'm gonna right click and I can say review selection in editor. So just this one piece. That puts that one phrase right into editor. And in this case it says, Formality, you might wanna say go wild instead of go bananas. So I'll click on go wild here and it replaces it and I can choose to check the rest of the document. But that lets you go through one at a time instead of the entire thing and just be able to launch editor right in place. The fourth new feature lets you insert images right from your OneDrive into Word for the web. So on the insert tab here, I'll choose picture and now there's a OneDrive choice. Here's a nice image TPS report cover sheet, a nice picture, let's put that in there. Oh, that is looking very nice. The fifth new feature is picture borders. So here's my TPS report picture. Go to picture, and now you're gonna notice that there are borders. So I have lots of different options. Maybe I wanna make a nice green border, and maybe I wanna go back and I wanna make that weighted really thick. There we go, that is just, I'm a designer at heart, what can I say? The sixth new feature is showing bookmarks in Word for Web Navigation Pane. So I'm in Word Desktop, and maybe I'm gonna scroll down here and add a couple of bookmarks. So I'm gonna add a bookmark right here, go to the Insert menu, choose Bookmark, give it a name, Bookmark 1, hit Add. Maybe I'll scroll down much farther in the document, and maybe there's a bookmark right here. I'll do Insert again and Bookmark. This will be Bookmark 2, and hit Add. Okay, now I have my two bookmarks, and I'm gonna open up this document in Word for the web. Now I have my sales proposal open in Word for the web. If I go to the view menu, I'm gonna choose navigation here. The navigation pane opens and there is a little bookmark symbol. Our priorities, your priorities, and down here is the approach that I marked. Let's click that one. And it jumps me right to that same spot that I bookmarked in the desktop. The seventh new feature is live people picker for comments in Word for the Web. So let's say I'm gonna highlight a sentence right here and I'm gonna insert a comment. I'm gonna to go to the insert menu here and then I'm gonna choose new comment. If I want to add mention someone, let's say I'm going to add mention Ella, you'll see it pulls up live people from the address book right there. So there I'm going to add mention Ella and type my comment. So this makes it much easier to see exactly who you're at mentioning in Word for the Web. The eighth new feature is speech to text in our search bar up top to make it more inclusive and easier to use. So let's say I go up here and normally I might search in the box. I'm going to click the little microphone right here. Immersive reader. <laughs> And now it pulls up this immersive reader topic. Okay, here's the immersive reader. I'm gonna click this right here. And hey, there's the immersive reader. Now you can search for any of your commands using speech to text. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.